Hi, I'm Gary from New Again. We've been making cars like New Again for over 30 years. Right, so here we have a BMW 3 Series. Rather a nice car, but the roof is very, very dirty. It's got litching, it's got moss, and it's starting to rot. And believe me, if we leave this roof the way it is, the stitching will start to perish. Maybe it will start to crack the actual roof across here because of the abrasion in the dirt that's in it. Now clearly this roof is, although it's really, really dirty, it's clearly in good condition underneath all this dirt. Uh, so we're going to show you what we can do with it and how we can make it uh, like a new roof again. Now, uh, what I would say at this point is not all roofs you can do that with. This car would have been left and just like this and then been put backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Then it's probably likely that it would need a new roof. Um, this car's only done 52,000 miles, so that would be a shame to have to go and pay out probably somewhere between 1,000 and 1,500 to have an aftermarket roof fitted. Um, and you might be thinking, oh, well, maybe we can get it stitched up. And, you know, I, I, I've not met a trimmer that can get a sewing machine on the side of a car and actually stitch something. They might be able to needle and thread something. But the reality is this is actually a membrane. This is a bit like an umbrella. It's pulled nice and taut over its framework. Um, but underneath this fabric that we're looking at, what they call the mohair or all the other different words they use for it, is actually really a neoprene rubber seal. And if you get a little split in it, it's like having a hole in the bottom of a boat. It's not so easy to repair. Right, so how are we going to make it light new? Well, you can't go rushing and scrubbing it straight away because it has grit in it. And, you know, you're going to get a certain amount of wear cleaning the roof, but obviously we want to avoid that. So what we're going to do first of all, we're going to put a chemical on there that will break down the organic stuff that's holding all the grit in the roof. So we'll soak it first, leave it to soak for a little while. We've got enzymes that eat into it. And then we're going to jet it off before we put a brush anywhere near it. Then we're going to then, once it's all washed off, and we know then we've just got the bit that's left, we're then going to get, a, we've got a power brush. We're then going to power brush out all the grit and the dirt. Um, rather like replicating what a washing would, machine would do, it wouldn't it be lovely to be able to take it off and put it straight in a washing machine and get it out after and it'll all be clean and put it back on. Um, you can't do that of course, so we're going to be brushing it and we've got a machine that's going to brush it all and then we do that a couple of times until we know that all of the dirt's out. And you know, for those of you who are looking to do your own, the secret behind getting a great clean roof is the cleaning bit. Okay, so watch carefully. Right, it's all done now. What a lovely finish. So it's had a little bit of um, what I might call, um, it's perished a tiny bit. You know, you can see there, the fabric's nice and clean. But you can see where this green was on and this litching was on there. And um, it's obviously sort of broke the fabric down a bit, but otherwise it's, it's survived. You can see where it folds, it's a bit flat a bit You can see where it folds here, that um, it's still lovely, like a new roof. Uh, the car's had an exterior value as well while the guy's been here. And, um, you know, luckily he's still got a good roof. But I've got one coming in next week and it's all gone, it's all falling apart. The stitching's coming apart here and here, where it's been folding with all the grit and dirt in. So, you know, I think this one hasn't been folding with all that in. So there you go, it's rather nice. I hope this was of use to you, and if it was, if you could just press the like button and that may help somebody else find it. Also, there's links to our website on the description below.